When asked how it all started, I always tell that it all began that day when we went to Botanical Gardens. We, meaning yours truly, and two of my friends. Whose idea was it to visit the abandoned station? Who persuaded the others to go? I always tell them that I don't remember. I always lie. It this is safe lie. Or there is no way to ascertain the truth. Both Vitaly and Eugene are dead now. The massive airlock doors shrugged and opened with a grinding sound. Opening a road to hell for us and a road into the metro for the demons. But in fact it all started that day when Mother said we should take a walk in the botanical gardens and go there by metro. I remember how we took a short escalator to the surface, how we exited a spacious glass pavilion and saw a street buried in green. I remember the small clouds moving across the limitless sky and soft, cool wind on my face. Mother bought me an ice cream. That was the last time I tasted it. That day, humanity was executed. The righteous and the sinful were called to be rendered according to their deeds. And we hid from God's sight in the metro. And we were saved from his wrath. And he apparently decided that flushing us out wasn't worth the trouble. Then he went about his business or perhaps died. While we stayed on this used up and discarded earth and continued just going with it. Going nowhere. I remember so many random, unnecessary things, yet I don't remember the most important one. My mother's face. She died very soon after the war started. All that remains of her is that day in the garden. How I wished I could recall her face. The way she looked at me. The way she whispered that I have nothing to fear. Sell my soul just to recall that. I'd do that any day, any time. And I did. Hey guys, welcome back to another video Metro Last Light. I played this game way back in the day when it first came out on Xbox 360, believe it or not. That seems so far away, especially nowadays. So without further ado, please give me a like and let's get this show on the road. I completely love this game. I love the Metro series. I'm going to play the whole game. We'll see how it goes. Thank you guys. Let's do this. The Dark Ones came much later, from the garden's direction. The Dark Ones, huge, towering a full head over the highest man. Nightmarish creatures, creepy as a man turned inside out. Monsters born to destroy us. The word was they were incredibly strong and unnaturally evil that with bare paws they could tear armed men apart. Joseph. That's all lies. <laughs> Truth is even scarier. Well, I used to live nearby. Before the war, I mean, uh, up there. I was on the train when it happened. I tried calling my family, but couldn't get through. What the? What happened? Shit! 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 What's going on here?
Artyom. Wake up, Artyom. It's me, Khan. Nightmares, eh? No wonder, after all you've been through. Listen, I have incredible news. A couple of days ago, I was near the ruins of the Dark One's hive, and I saw one of them, still alive. I immediately set out to find you, as you were the one they tried to contact, before you launched the missile strike against them. Khan! How the hell did you get here? Get out! Now! Yes, Ullman, one moment. If a Dark One has survived, it is vital that you try to speak with it, Artyom. I realize that, as one of the Order now, you report to Miller. But we must persuade him to allow this mission. Khan! I told you to get out! This is a classified base. You shouldn't even be here. I'll take you to Colonel Miller. Follow me, Artyom. Get ready, Artyom. I'll be waiting at the exit. Move it, you windbag! I knew a smoker once. During the last year of his life, he had to eat, drink, and breathe through a tiny hole in his throat. There's that last light. Oh, wow. Got all the pictures from last time. On the spot. Yeah, it's nice for him. I had to spend two years as a cadet before they accepted me into the order. Well, anyway, uh, where were we? The story is construction started in Stalin's time and went on until the USSR broke down. The war was inevitable. Still, it feels like we're in a better future. Our leaders put their money on again. At least they have water down here. At least. I thought he was in the hospital from the attack on the Great Library. Hello, Artyom. Welcome to the armory. I hear you're a ranger now, huh? We must get a drink sometime to celebrate. For now, let's get you equipped. So, first things first. You're going to need a gas mask. You can't make a step on the surface without a gas mask. It's been 20 years and the radiation still strong enough in some places to boil water. There are hot spots down here in the metro, too. Don't forget filters for the mask. Sure, it looks cool enough even without these, but they definitely make it better for your health. Now, med kits. Well, what can I say? Anything you need for survival in a stylish orange case. Here's your advanced salary for this month. Remember, your pay is in military-grade rounds. Sure, you can use them as usual ammo for some hefty extra damage, but saving them to buy guns, attachments, regular ammo and equipment for merchants anywhere in the metro seems like a smarter move. Haha, <laughs> alright. Now to the good stuff. Let's get you some guns. Take the ones you want and try them out on my range. Rangers usually carry up to three weapons, Artyom. The choice of those is completely up to you. Alright, I think I'm gonna go with the sniper. Um, I'll take that one. That's just a more, I guess. I think that's a bigger AK, really. And the shotgun. I think we had enough practice. Oh, is it soup? Must be soup day. Oh. Um, I'm good. Thank you, though. Yesterday, the commander and I checked the leaders calling the group leaders in. There's going to be a big assembly. Please, we will smoke. So, 
Pay no attention to this clown, Alex. Open the gates. Have you heard about Lesnitsky? What are you Let talking about? Here. Check Open with the, the guards at the lab. Shit. What the hell did he do? Area. Opening up. All right, let's go. The tombs of ancient kings were filled with whatever they might need in the afterlife. Weapons, gold, chariots. They'd sacrifice their wives and slaves to serve their lords even in death. Reminds me of this bunker. Cut that shit out. The things in D6 are like what the Conqueror took with him beyond the grave. Gold steel and wild steeds and treasures untold. Of course, the Tomb Raiders would always die horribly. Killed by demons or ghosts or their own greed. Come, will you shut up or what? Hey, I heard that Lesnitsky did something. What happened? Nobody knows. Lesnitsky was at the lab. When the next shift came, the door was open and the lab ransacked. Lesnitsky was gone. Shit. So, what's inside? Chemical weapons, maybe some other shit. That's, that's all I heard. God damn it. The colonel's going to tear me a new one because of Lesnitsky. A red hot poker right into my soul. If it's not that. All right, let's go. We might control D6, but it's like a damn city down here. All the bunkers, the nooks and crannies and exits. Still, they base the order dream of finding. Guys just came back from the ring. They say cancer is strengthening the sentry points along the whole line. Especially the ones close to the Nazis. I just left the briefing. Two Nazi assault teams have started the fight with raids somewhere in the surface. Over what? Miller ordered all our men assembled here on this base. Kerman, take these guys to Miller. They've been summoned. You think they're looking to break into this place? All right, go on in. I'll wait here. When you've gone, I'll speak to Miller. Okay. The bombing of the Dark Ones may have been humanity's worst mistake. What if they meant us no harm, but were trying to communicate? Perhaps the severe pain and loss of consciousness suffered in their presence just meant we were incompatible. Machines with different wiring. But somehow you, Artyom, have the common wire. The connection with the Dark Ones. Yes. People died at exhibition, your home station. Hunter, the best of the order, is most likely dead as well. And he taught you this. If we don't fight for our lives in this new world, we'll be devoured. It is the law of evolution. But I would argue, the old laws no longer apply. All right, Artyom, and you, God, you have something to report? Yes, Colonel. Let's keep it short, then. I located the surviving Dark One at the gardens. What? One of those things is still alive? Luckily, yes. Luckily? Come, this is utter madness. The Dark Ones were the greatest threat the Order's ever faced. Colonel, just... Give me a chance. A single Dark One is no threat. Artyom has a gift. I believe he can establish contact with the creature. Let him come with me. All right. Artyom, go with Khan to the gardens and locate the Dark One. I'll send a sniper over. My best. Anna. Yes, sir. Why would we need a sniper? To eliminate the creature and finish the Order's job. Miller, you can't! It's murder! Restrain him! You idiot! You're making the same mistake that... We're done here. Escort Khan out of here. Artyom! It's your last chance for forgiveness! For getting rid of the nightmares! Ah! 
Forget.com. Looks like he got close, too close to the creature and lost his mind. Look here, Artyom. Complete the mission and get back here quickly. A war is coming, and I'll need every ranger at his post. On your way. So, what are you waiting for? Come along, rabbit. Artyom, if it's true that the Dark Ones can sense you, maybe you could draw it out from hiding so Anna can have a clear shot. But do me a favor. Don't let the Dark One get into your mind, or Anna will have two targets. Is that understood? And don't forget mm, that's to understood. Well, hello. Don't tell me you believe that bullshit about ah, kinda. with the dark ones. I wish I had been up in that tower myself to see the missiles fall and watch them burn in their nests. Well, you're kind of bloodthirsty. On, rabbit. Would you let those things into the metro? Let them crawl into our brains so they could use us like animals. Maybe we could mate with them, so the children could live on the surface and feed off the radiation. Shit. You don't shake hands with the devil. Please step away from the edge of the platform. Train coming in. Alright, I'll in like a good little rabbit. What's with this, uh, rabbit you speak of? Well, we've worn this place out. Let's move. Just a year ago, I stood on top of the TV tower and saw missiles rain on the botanical gardens, turning the flesh into ashes, smelting metal and glass. Nobody and nothing could survive that inferno. Yet Khan did find a dark one there. Now my mission is to find and eliminate it. To finish what I started. In the past, trains were ordinary things. But now, this monorail seems magic, doesn't it? Our kids won't know how to operate these things. And their kids will probably think this was built by the gods. Yeah, right. suppose. No, okay. Try my best. This is so cool, though. Just a subway tunnel. I was born ready. Watch yourself. The doors are closing. Good luck. Yeah, we we'll need it. Didn't you and my father take the monorail when you went out to fire the missiles at the Dark One's nest? That's a good sign, Rabbit. Maybe we'll have luck with this mission too. Possible. Oh, hey, buddy. How'd they go? Power's working. Open the gate. I'll cover the passage. Great. You did fine after all. I'm starting to think that you're being very sarcastic to me. All clear. Move out. Got some beef with me that I don't know about. Excuse me, lady. May get through. Oh, okay. Alright. The map shows a collector entry point ahead. Go right. There's a dead end on the left. Something alarmed them. Stay sharp. Well, he didn't make it. Oh. The scared of something. Shit. That thing's fast. Pretty fast. I don't think we'll run into anything serious here. Great. The ladder. It's just a little more walking. Then we'll see if you're a rabbit or a man. Would you stop calling me a rabbit? Put your mask on. <sighs> What's your obsession with rabbits? Do I look like 
Bugs Bunny to you. <laughs> I can't even see. The sun's in my eyes. Excuse me. Give me a hand here. Let's go to the main entrance. There's a good shooting position there. I can cover a lot of territory. You're supposed to be immune to there. What? Influence? Well, I don't have your gift. So hop along, rabbit. Head on in and look for the creature. I'm thinking that since the Dark Ones are so fond of you, it'll sense you, or smell you, or whatever the fuck they do, and come from high. Just try to stay in the open so I can cover you. We'll maintain radio contact. And if you have second thoughts, don't worry. I'll do it. Okay then. Good luck. How good of a shot even are you? Oh. Just gonna climb that. Okay. Guess I'll see you later. Oh wow. I believe the Dark Ones live there. That was their home. Too bad I dropped some nukes on it. I'm in position. I can see you. Something's still burning where the nest was. That's some fine wasteland. You guys sure did a good job here. It's strange. What could still be burning after all this time? Well, it doesn't matter. Move towards it. I'll cover you. Hope there's nothing else out here. I see some kind of movement. Get ready. On the right. I'm working on them. Those are dark ones. Oh no. Oh! Oh, get back. That helm was bad luck. Get ready for more. Another three. Let's do it. Oh, there's a couple more. Looks like we pretty much cleaned the place. How are you? Hey, you all right? Hey, Artyom, you're doing a decent job. Maybe you're more than a rabbit after all. You and that rabbit. I guess we're going further in. I don't see anything. About 30 meters from your position. Two o'clock. There it is. Looks small, but it's definitely a dark one. What's well? you? Come on. Oh, there he is. See his brain. It's okay, buddy. Where are you going? No, buddy.
Oh, hello. Ah. 